Hi, y'all. Yes, it's me, Teacher Janil. Well, I remembered breaking it to you that I am better a writer than a speaker, especially when it comes to sharing my opinions and my thoughts. So, well, you might have guessed it. I'm going to be reading my content article once more. Yes, and this article that I'm going to read to you, Breaking the Latches of Presaging Chain Messages, was originally published at OWL Press February 14 of 2020. So yes, you can find my article. You can read it also at OWL Press. Let's hear it then. Christianity is the greatest legacy of the Spaniards to the Filipinos. Amidst all the maltreatment, there are still some good things that sprouted after a century, 120 years to be exact. Well, they've seated in power for 333 years. That is quite a long time, say three to five generations. Had they been generous, they, there could have been so much our ancestors have learned. The Filipinos have ever picked up a lot about religion though mostly still putting our ancestors at the bottom of the order, the bottom of the dreaded pyramid, labeling them Indio, idiots. That is totally harsh. They came to our land like they own it and lived like kings manipulating puppets. They didn't even want our ancestors to learn the language. They didn't want them to understand simply because they had dug an endless pit of ulterior motives. I'd say they were successful in all their scheming, as they've seated in control for over three centuries. The way they taught our ancestors the practices of our religion may have contributed so much on the false impressions of the Filipinos about penance and indulgence, through which the latter were manipulated. Nevertheless, that was a long time ago, a time for greed and power, a time when the religion was merely a front. Now that things have grown into clear-cut crystals, there still remain smudges of misinterpretations. Say, for instance, the alarming propagation of chain messages, especially those that imply penance and indulgence in a bribing manner. This movement has already started even before the internet era. As for me, there is nothing wrong with passing on messages such is very much essential in the fast-paced world. For so long as the sole intent of such is purely for the well-being of every recipient and whoever may have come across it unintentionally. However, when it is used to appeal to the emotions and spirituality of the receiver, not to mention superstitions, this is where it gets really twisted. The Filipinos had been fed with misconstructions about Christianity our faith in particular, more so now in the internet era when messages are easily spread out. There are some religion-related messages which at first tells the reader the magnificence, righteousness, and the glory of God. Then, as a concluding line, it says, pass on to 50 friends. Then, the most shocking part is when it says now, do not break the chain if you do not want misfortunes to befall on you. I mean, what? I mean, who are you? I am certain this is not what the church teaches. I understand it urges us to spread the word of God with the fullness of our heart. Not because we are frightened of the punishment that might befall on us. We have a loving God who gave us free will. Therefore, such is a very distorted notion. Now, this one is interesting. You are browsing through the social media, then this feel-good message comes strolling in your newsfeed. Or better yet, a personal message from a friend, an acquaintance, or so. Here goes the brief but promising message. Repost if you believe in God. In 22 minutes, he will give a blessing in disguise. There is so much confidence oozing from the originator of this message. Imagine, there is really a specific number of minutes as to when such providence shall befall on you. Well, that's what makes it compelling. This is positive gratification, but such is still a lie. Let's face it, 
whether you reposted the message or not, you would always receive a blessing because you followed God's commandments and not because you have made a repost from an anonymous seer. You have received a blessing because of your ability to recognize God's work in every encounter. That is very important. That is the very blessing, to have eyes and the heart to see. When there is a lack of faith, that is when we need a marker to recognize the blessings all around us. A blessing is what we decide to see. With an optimistic disposition, blessings are bountiful. So why don't we start spreading the goodness of our salvation without conditions? I think we can do that. That's the end of my article. Yes, of course we can do that. To love unconditionally. Cliché, but that's all we need. I hope you learned something from my article. Yes, that's about... The, yeah, that's how I feel about chain messages sharing messages so before you click let's think first let's think our click our responsibility i hope you picked up something from me today so i say to talk for now bye bye